Well, this occurred to me. Oh, I don't like I don't like whatever's happening right now. I have been experiencing, and I know people are fascinated in our culture with let's I want to know behind the scenes what's really going on with with our biggest stars. What's it really like to be them? Uh, well, let me open up a window for you and tell you, because um, I think it's fair to say that I'm a big deal. Oh. Yeah. I'm, oh. Up, I'm up there with the, uh, I'm the Timothée Chalamet of comedy, oh. if you will. <laughs> wow. Well, I think that's fair. He's so young and So what's new. that about? I didn't say anything about my age or, or I know, how... I feel really bad. The second young yeah. came out, I felt mm-hmm. really bad that's about not, it. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying I am, I think most people right now listening to the podcast are nodding. If you said to them, what's Conan? I think a lot of people would say he's the Timothée Chalamet mm-hmm. of comedy. But what, it, what is it that you guys have in common? Um, just this, we're omnipresent, we're everywhere. Uh, you know, try and avoid Conan O'Brien in the culture and try and avoid Timothée Chalamet, not gonna happen. Right. Any time you uh, turn up a volume uh, dial, you're gonna hear me. <laughs> we're, I'm everywhere. Do you think that your podcast right now is like as talked about as the movie Dune? <laughs> yes. Oh, you I, do? I, yeah. Oh, okay. I think it's probably up there with, I bet I'm, I'm not, I haven't checked to see if I'm trending and I don't encourage anyone to check. I think just please don't check. Yeah. But I bet Dune's trending, Chalamet's trending, mm-hmm. and uh, that Conan guy is trending. It, am I Zendaya? No. That's ridiculous. Did I pronounce that right? I hear she's hardly in the movie. Yeah, she's in like 10 minutes. I, I haven't oh. seen it yet, but she's in. She's everywhere. And I thought, oh, I this is the seen. story of Timothée Chalamet and Zendaya, yeah. uh, you know, on a sand planet. And uh, no, apparently, she, I think she enters briefly, looks at the camera, says, Zendaya present and then walks out. Oh. Uh, present and accounted for, I think is her full line. Mm. I'd be happy to be here. Anyway, She's I'm gonna beautiful. let you in on what it's like to be me, which is I've had a lot of mouth discomfort okay. lately. Oh, this is this how you're a- Timothy Chalamet. Huh. He talks about his mouth discomfort does- <laughs> all the time. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, of course he oh, doesn't. I say, that's I- <laughs> oh, that's sarcasm. I just believe anything Sona ever tells me. Yeah, that was so, oh, I see, it's sarcasm. Well, guess what? Yeah. If he wants to stay relevant, he should let people in on what's going on with himself <laughs> medically. Okay. I would tell Timothée Chalamet, uh, that he should okay. tell people. By the way, little known fact, do you remember this, Sona. Yeah. A couple of years ago, we did a shows at Comic-Con and a good friend of mine brought uh, his nephew to our after party. Yeah. It was Timothée Chalamet about, I wanna say a year before he blew up. Wow. Or a year and a half, maybe two years. Uh, yeah, I think it, I I know what you're saying. It and was he hung out at our story. after party, and I have a yeah. picture of me with Timothy, and I'm like, yeah, he seems like a nice kid. I'll give him a little picture. He can, he's gonna treasure this his whole life. Yeah, this picture with Conan O'Brien. Get in here, kid. Here's something you can hang on to for the rest of your life. This is your biggest moment right now. <laughs> your picture with Conan O'Brien. Yeah, click. He's the biggest star in the universe. <laughs> Oscar nominee. Yeah, uh-huh. and uh, you know, what am I over here? Chopped liver? Yes, I am. But anyway, that's not my point. My yeah. point is to get across that I knew Timothy Chalamet just before he blew up, and some would say I'm responsible. Others would say there's no connection. Right. And he owes me nothing. Yes. That's probably the more logical explanation. What's happening with your health? My health. I've had <laughs> this, and I'm letting you in, on a big star's pain and agony. I have had this discomfort in my mouth that really, I swear to God, was a a tooth, a bad tooth. So I went to the dentist, they took x-rays, nothing wrong. Mm. A couple of weeks later, it's still really bothering me. I go back, more x-rays, they look, they go, no, nothing's wrong. And then one of them said, you know what, your sinus cavity is very close to the tooth nerve. Have you had a cold lately? Yes, I have. Mm. Mm. So then I look up online, nasal, uh, swelling, tooth pain, <laughs> and it comes back <laughs> with the exact- Google ex- search. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's what people want to hear about? Conan's Google searches? That's some sexy Hey, you Googling. want to hear about my sexy Google search? <laughs> Check this out. Nasal inflammation, mouth pain. <laughs> MILF. I put MILF. MILF. I put MILF in at the end. MILF. No. Yeah. Yes, I did. No. 
And man, was I off to the races. Oh. Anyway, uh, just if you're out there, uh, it's a real thing. Well, and then it suggested take a decongestant and see what happens. I took a decongestant, tooth pain went away completely. Oh. oh. And so I'm going to get it checked out. I'm going to see an ENT. I'm going to get this sinus thing worked out. Yeah. But I just want you to know, well, I just let you in. I made myself vulnerable. And I think that's, that's pretty nice. uh, brave of me. Well, and if you're out there and you're suffering from a toothache and you're going to the dentist and they're saying there's nothing wrong, it could be a sinus thing. Right. You're saving lives. Saving lives. Okay. All right. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I'm a, the joke is on me. Sexy Googling about sinus infections. <laughs> I, you know what? I would you be, just add MILF to every Google search? <laughs> I just add MILF to everything. I really do. Oh. Yeah, I do. Um, mm -hmm. Battle of Lexington and Concord. 1775, MILF. <laughs> and you will see very attractive women in their 40s um, naked uh, fighting it out with the British. Naked? Yeah. Oh. You, well, do you think a MILF search, they're not, they're wearing, what, you think they're wearing beekeepers outfits? <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. Well, you have to also put naked. Oh, you uh, have so to So you add naked. MILF naked. Yeah, sometimes I forget the naked and I do just Lexington Concord um, battle 1775 naked and it's a naked male recreation <laughs> of that battle. And that's not, I have to say, it's just not it's, fun. It doesn't do it for you. It doesn't do it for me. Yeah. But let's review yeah. what we've learned in this incredible opening to the show <laughs> that was completely unscripted. Uh, one, uh, if you have mouth pain, it could be your sinus. Just check into that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you want temporary relief, use a decongestant. Got it. Uh, two, Timothy Chalamet, <laughs> uh, the biggest thing that may ever have happened to him is his picture with me, right. which I'm sure he treasures. I've seen some photographs of him because there's photographs of him everywhere mm -hmm. and he's wearing a locket. I bet it's the photo of me <laughs> and him in the locket. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's Do true. Do you think he remembers taking that picture with you? I think, uh, no. <laughs> quite, I bet he does. I'm quite certain. No. I'm quite certain he has no memory of anything that happened to him. When he's got the kind of fame where everything that happened to you before that fame started is completely obliterated. <laughs> It's like Men in Black. His, when you get that kind of fame, all memory prior to that is wiped clean. Yeah, mm. oh, that's, okay, yeah. I get that. I know that I'm not that famous because I remember everything really well. <laughs> I was just gonna ask if you remember anything from oh, before you were 29. No, a super, very detailed, granular memories of fifth grade. <laughs> Uh, and all the humiliations and struggles with acne, all still there in brilliant Technicolor. So yes, wow. uh, I never quite made it. Oh. But I've talked to people like Tom Hanks and I've said, so, you know, uh, before Splash, and he's like, nothing. Wow. <laughs> no memory. And, and then Steve Martin, no memory. Betty White's real fame <laughs> came later in life. She has no memory of anything that happened to her before she was 85. So oh. he won't remember having ice cream with me at Ghirardelli. Who, Timothy? Timothy Chalamet. Imagine if he remembered Sona, but didn't remember <gasps> you. Could we have him on the podcast? Well, Are you guys, do you have his number? Are you close? No, I don't have his number. Uh, I could probably get it, but no, I, I don't have his number. I'm sure, you know what? I'm going to say Sona, sure. I'm going to be nice to you. Yes, I'm <laughs> sure he remembers having ice cream with you. Okay. He probably remembers exactly what he ordered. Peppermint fudge ripple crunch. <laughs> you remember? Chalamet. 